Hey, what's up guys? Admin Zigzagoon here. Uh, today we're going to be bringing you another episode where Pretty and I play on Showdown. Uh, Pretty, what are we using today? So we're going to be using an Icy Wind Weavile team with a Xerneas Groudon core, uh, featuring a Mega Venusaur and a Mega Salamence option with Bronze Lunga support. Yep, it's uh, pretty cool. Got some centered stuff, uh, got some you know neat picks. Yeah, it should be fun. Yeah, go Let's ahead and hop right into a battle. The cool thing about Showdown is, on average, it only takes a decade to find a battle. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad, but hey, we got lucky, huh? We sure did, Cotton. So, dual primal with Mega Salamence, Raichu, Cresselia, and Klefki. Um, so, pretty, you're more experienced with this team than I am. Uh, huh. Let's see. That's a tough one. Yeah. We have Bronze Strong here. Yeah, of course. Uh, he's pretty good. I don't... I don't guess leading Xerneas is actually that great against this team at all. No. Got the Trick Room option, got the Raichu that could paralyze I, you. I think Weavile, though, definitely has yeah. some merit. Weavile is a common lead on this team, of course. Yeah, with Icy Wind and, uh, it, you know, it's Weavile. That's what it does. Yeah. I don't hate it beside either Venusaur or Groudon. Yeah, I feel like either should be fun. They're both funny. That is Max Speed Groudon, correct? Yes. Okay. So I don't really want to lead it, but I'm willing to. Yeah. I also don't mind leaning Salamence. Actually, that, that could be pretty good with the Intimidate. Yeah. Uh, then I think we definitely want Groudon. <laughs> Venusaur or Xerneas? I don't think Bronzong's necessary here. No. Uh, I think Venusaur... Uh, I don't know, the opposing Mence is kind of troublesome if you lose Weavile early. Yeah. yeah, that's true. So we could do Xerneas. It's also going to be most likely physical Groudon, and he has two methods right. of paralyzing Xerneas, though, so that's a little scary. Yeah, it is scary. Um, gee, I don't know, man. <laughs> hey, no, we're gonna bring it anyways, we're gonna win. I like that attitude. Alright, so, Groudon Crest. This is pretty much optimal. Yeah, it really is. It would be better if we were using Fake Out Weavile. We're not that cool yet. We're just using the <laughs> faint Icy Wind knockoff Ice Punch, as you can see. I, I actually wasn't aware going into this that it, it didn't have Fake Out. Yeah, so... Uh, Pretty you know, cool, though. That, that's how you know it's good. So, I think we just kind of have to double into the Cresselia. I mean, we don't have to. Like, I... Is he Trick Room? Trick Room's only good for the Primals and Cresselia, on it, which is, you know, is the majority of the team, but... Yeah, an Icy Wind would suck, though. It sure would. It sure would. We could, like, could knock off Protect. I don't hate it. Just to see what happens, but I really don't want him to get a free Trick Room, like, without us doing a lot of damage. I honestly don't think he'll be Trick Room, though. You don't? I don't think so. I mean, I've been wrong before, but... Yeah. What? Do you think Knock Off plus Return will kill? Not really. I mean... I kind of want to find out. Let's do it. Alright. <laughs> oh, wow. It might... Wow. Okay. Uh, we take those here. Didn't even. It didn't. Oh, because the intimidate. I was wondering why it didn't take us to Sash. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a good. That's, uh, fine. that's a really good. That's not good. Yeah, the intimidate's okay. kind of bad. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. So um, I see one. You could. Yeah, I was gonna say we could totally just icy wind here. I see wind tailwind. Like just all the speed control. Because then. I mean, he can't stop. He yeah. has no way to stop tailwind this turn at all. Or I see wind. Yeah. Worst case scenario, like we get a, he double KOs and we get a double switch. Excellent. It's fine. So we, we get a free tailwind here. I, I don't think, unless he's HP Ice Ground on, I don't think there's any way you can KO this Mints. That's right. that's incredible. That's fine. We get a free switch now with tailwind. So I do we just bring in Zern and set up, or you want to bring in Groudon? I want to save Groudon because he likely has Kyogre in the back. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's smart. We can we can probably just set up. Yeah, just Geomancy Hyper Voice. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. Uh, double edged Fire Punch into Xerneas would not be good. We could Dazzling Gleam Hyper Voice. That could, yeah, that, that would actually probably be smarter. Yeah, we might be getting a little too greedy by going for the Geomancy right off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's think, do it. I think it'll just be fine to do this. Yeah. It'll just, a lot of damage. Even if he switches in Kyogre, like, it'll, it'll put it in range for Moonblast Return. Or, but okay. she's gonna do exactly that. Yeah, sure. Probably protect the Groudon. Or not, okay. Wow. Yeah, I guess he had no reason to. Oh, <laughs> the crit. That double, double crit? crit? Oh, that. I'm sorry, dude. He's... He's that, not in a good way. That was pretty nasty. Yeah, he's not. He's 
not good light. Um, so I think was well, Groudon in range for another hyper voice? It should be yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, it might be a roll. I'm just gonna hyper voice Dazzling again though. Yeah, I don't see a reason. He can't to. do anything about it. No. Okay, so the Kyogre hangs on, but it won't live this Dazzling. Yeah. And that's I would say that's the gonna game. be a game. Yeah, because now we just hyper voice Geomancy, and we still have full HP Groudon in the back. Yep, he there's forfeit. the forfeit. Okay. Okay. Four. Next. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, so that was a pretty good battle. Um, I guess we'll just hop into another one here. Yeah, I suppose so. Hopefully we'll find one quick. Oh, wow. We... Oh, oh, hey. Patrick Purple Moore. He's he's actually a member of the group. Yeah, he is. He's always talking about Lavras and uh, Rhydon. And the Rhydon, yeah. <laughs> hey, this is really cool. All right. Uh, Venusaur. Venusaur. Venusaur puts in immense work. Yes. I but... agree. I think we need to lead something like Salamence Weavile, potentially, or Weavile Xerneas. Well, it gives us the uh, Tailwind potential. Yeah, and yeah. the Icy Wind to help Yeah, I think, I think Weavile Salamence is optimal with Venusaur Groudon. Yeah. Um, we don't really need Braun Strong for anything. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, th um, I think Groudon... I mean, it, it could be decent, but... Uh, I, do we, do we, I don't think Zarn's really that important. I think Groudon is going to be the best option. Oh, something to note here. Uh, if he hasn't changed his team... His Mega Gengar actually carries Thunder. So okay. It's something you want to look out for. That doesn't really bother our team too bad, though. He, he does also have uh, Sheer Cold on that Lapras. Okay. <laughs> I won't stress, man. I won't get stressed about it. I won't. No. Not me. I, usually against this kind of lead, I just Icy win um, Tailwind. Yeah. I mean... I don't... I don't see a problem with it. I mean, he he's likely to... Bring up his own tailwind, yeah, so we exactly. kind of have to match tailwinds. Yeah, and in the case that he doesn't, like, so yeah, exactly, it's gonna be great. Yeah, that's very optimal. Oh. Okay, that is about the worst thing. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, well, at least it didn't poison. I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's and not so. Good at all. Now, do we have to icy wind to protect? Yeah, I think so. As much as I want to ice, uh, like, in a normal position, now I just return uh, the Gengar and ice yeah. punch the. I don't think he has haze on this set. I <laughs> really hope not. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll go after us too. So if he does, we're in a really bad position. Yep. Yeah, that was that smart. was smart. Yeah. We can get rid of his bad at least. If he if he does haze here, we're uh, we're not going to be super too well. Okay. okay so he's super friendly. We kind of want to pretty smart. Um, <sighs> what do we sludge bomb this? That did so much damage. Yes. So at this point we have. To I move. I actually don't want to KO the bat just yet. I want to uh, knock off. You I want to like knock, knock off, off the Gengar and, and Hyper Voice. Oh. I want to do this. Oh wow. Okay. So that turned out all right. Yeah. All right. I kind of wish we would have gotten KO'd there, but it's okay. Well, let's see. We can now. We can. Oh, he still has that Kyogre. <sighs> hmm. But, I don't know, they, they don't do much to Venus or either one of them, right? Yeah, I guess so. The bad part is he can just target yeah. Salamence now. Uh, yeah. This, this is tough. looking good. Um, that Icy Wind was really terrible. Yeah, that sent us back. <sighs> part of me wants to bring Anger on, but I really, really want to let it control. He, like, he has dual primal in the back, right? If, yeah, we can get the, have to if we can get the Kyogre in and KO something, make and make him bring the ground on him, and, and put us in the sun, I think that's our best odds here. Yeah. So if I'm him, I switch the Crobat into Kyogre and protect the Gengar. Yes? So <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, unless unless he just yeah, unless he goes full offensive and just attacks the Salamence. I don't right think here. I don't think will. I'm gonna uh, Earth Power the Crobat and return it. Oh. Okay. So this isn't like perfect. No, we lose. Because now he brings in Kyogre. Um, yeah, and he's got full control of the other. Though, maybe we don't lose. Because Argon's max speed, we can Earth Power into his Gengar. His he actually, his best option would be to switch in his own Groudon and sack it. Yeah. I yeah you are right. Or he has I mean, HP Water. Oh, jeez. Uh, he doesn't have. Look at this team. Actually, he has two water types. Well, yeah. Based on uh, what I remember, I don't believe he's the water. So, or, I mean, we have to Earth Power King Boo and protect, right? What about? I guess it, it's not advantageous to tell him. 
No, because he, he'll just KO, yeah. potentially. Yeah. We can't lose Salam until we lose the game. Yeah, and he knows. So. so that goes down. Oh, uh, we, we could still win. Yeah, because if he brings in Groudon now, we get we get the chlorophyll. That's true. All right, so this comes down to... Will which sleep. one does he protect? Yeah, which one does he protect? And will Sleep Powder hit? If we do decide sleep to Sleep Powder's going to hit. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, if you say so, man. Yeah, this is scary right here. <sighs> Terrifying. Um, All right, because Return Grass Knot will KO the Kyogre. I, I feel like he's going to protect the Kyogre. You think? I think so. Uh, what's your gut feeling? If I'm him, I don't protect either. That is that would probably be the smartest thing to do. I th I think doubling into Groudon might be the best thing to do here because Sleep Powder Hyper Voice. Yeah, yeah. I know it's a tough call, but it's so 50-50. Like really. we really. All right. Let's say he doesn't protect either, and he goes for Ice Beam. On the Kyogre, on the Venusaur, and Eruption on the ground. And we, no, it's physical ground. It's gonna be physical. Mm -hmm. So fi he's gonna fire punch the Venusaur and Ice Beam Salamence if he double attacks. Yeah. Which one's the Venusaur is the bigger threat, man, right? I would have to say so. So. Both pretty so bad. I think we double into ground on. Yeah. 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 Hyper Voice Sleep Hug. Oh no. Uh, he said, "Had I switched in ground on, who would you protect, Mens or Dom?" Mm. Doesn't matter, I'd lose, bud. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, we still have some odds. Um, I think he's actually going to protect Kyogre here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call that. I mean, we're so far behind, if we don't make any reads here, we just lose anyway. So, and he just protected Groudon. So, unless he's going for a double protect, you yeah. know what I mean? I think that's the safest. I think we have to put the Groudon to save him up for Max Sleep. Yeah. And that the Kyogre can't okay, kill us. So. I don't think Ice Beam will KO, but it'll do a lot. Yeah. Wow, that did a lot. So Kyogre's protect. Does Kyogre have a reason to protect? I don't think so. Put it to sleep. Well, I don't want to put it to sleep. I want to. I want to. Oh, can you okay with Grasshopper? I like. I don't know how. Uh, give it a shot, man. Do it. Yeah, because we have to. Yeah, I think he does protect. Oh, oh no. <laughs> wow, we actually had a chance. Yeah. That is so upsetting. Well, I mean, it was a pretty good battle, though. So. Yeah, I'll accept the loss. Yeah. yeah. Good game to him. Huh. All right. Well, I guess that'll wrap up this episode. A win or a loss, you know? Yeah, we take those. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. GG.